To take a sample using the Allflex tissue sampling unit, you will require an Allflex applicator gun and a box of the Allflex punches. Open the box and remove a punch like this. If a punch is separated into two pieces, you can clip it back together like that. To load the gun, first open the tube retainer mechanism by rotating the black base of the gun like this. Place a punch into the gun so that the clear sample tube sits inside the black tube retainer you just opened. The red clip part of the punch should sit flush on top of the surface of the applicator gun's metal plate as shown. Next, close the black tube retainer base by twisting it shut as shown. Squeeze the handles together and ensure that the top part of the punch is sliding inside the metal gun bolt that comes down as the handles are squeezed. Only squeeze the handles until the gun bolt reaches this point and then release the handles. The gun bolt retracts upwards, taking the punch cutter up with it. Position the red clip with its ears facing outwards and then roll, the, roll it off using your thumb and downward pressure like this. The applicator gun is now loaded and ready to take a sample. When taking a sample, aim for the last one third of the ear, one to two centimetres away from the edge of the ear, avoiding any veins or ridges, and the tag. To press the gun's handles down until they're fully closed, like so, there's no need to put any extra pressure on at this point, a sample has been taken. Release the gun and it releases the ear. Try to keep the sampling smooth and quick, take a sample like this. When a sample has been taken, remove the cutter from the gun by pulling the handles apart. That will cause it to drop out as shown. Next, you can remove the sample by twisting the black tube retainer at the bottom and taking it out. You should be able to see an obvious sample inside the tube as well as a red plunger. The red plunger pushes the sample into the tube as well as capping the end of the tube. So the top of the box forms a submission card. Fill in your name, participant code, sample date, and then circle either cow numbers or birth IDs depending on what you're using to record your animals. As you go, you can identify on the side of the tubes a barcode number. You can search down the list, find that barcode number, and fill in the name of the animal. As you complete your samples, you can place them into a Ziploc bag, ready to return to GeneMark. The top of these boxes can be removed by tearing along this perforated line, like so. These two box lids now form submission cards. They can be placed with your samples in the plastic bag. sealed up and returned to GeneMark. If samples are not immediately returned to GeneMark, they should be stored frozen. Do not store samples at room temperature.